Hello and welcome to another episode of the Sligo Show and we're here today with Idel from the Spilt Milk Festival which is coming up this November. Idel, you're very welcome to the Sligo Show. Thanks Brendan. You're enjoying that your lovely comfy couch there, you look very comfortable all very together. very nice, yeah. <laughs> that is a beautiful glass house that we're in and thanks to the glass house for letting us use their lovely space. So Idel, for anyone that doesn't know, what is the Spilt Milk Festival? Um, so Spilt Milk is um, a festival that takes place in Sligo um, in November um, 17th to the 19th this year. Um, we're in our fifth year, so we're celebrating wow, number five. five. Years. Yeah, I forgot it was five, five years. years. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we started back in 2019. A group of us got together. Um, I co-founded it with uh, my partner, uh, Danny, and we gathered uh, a nice little group of people who we've collaborated with over the years. We'd been running gigs in town since 2016. So we just kind of wanted to make a bit more of a thing yeah. and get people to come to Sligo because it's a great place, um, share music together, share film and, and other parts that we mm. kind of do within the programme. Um, and we're, we're now here five years later, still okay. going. So last year we um, we kind of made a more formal partnership with the model. Oh, okay. So and a so lot they, of your events are kind of hosted. So there, it's now in one place where before we started, we were all over town in small little venues yeah. as well as the, the model and, and the Yates building and things like that. Um, so now it's just concentrated in one place. Okay. Um, but I suppose this year we're, we're spilling a little bit back into town. Spilling a bit more milk. Spilling a bit more <laughs> milk. Uh, we're, we're kind of getting back into town and we've okay. got a few things planned around there as well. So, um, so I mean, yeah. as I said, it's it's visual, it's art. Like, I mean, to, yeah. to, to someone like that's never been, is, sure. is it is it like music? Is it, it you know, is how most, would you? It is mostly music. Okay. Um, so we have four different music events over over the three day weekend, um, but we do we throw in a little bit of visual art, film, mm. um, and and you know, like in twenty twenty one, we did a print trail. Uh, like an audio and zine trail through Dorley Park, oh, so wow. that we're kind of re bringing that back in this year. And uh, oh, wow. we um, asked a, a local collective here, an anonymous collective called Fairy Lord, okay. and we said we'd like you to do a walking tour through the town, and we left them off on their merry pursuits, okay. and they came back with them. Um, well, the Fairy Lord um, are very fond of the paranormal. And they uncovered many strange tales about Sligo oh. and linked to different spots around the town. Okay. And they formed it all into a trail and provided a map. So over the mm. course of the weekend, visitors, Sligo and locals alike would be able to so investigate they'll, they'll find this places. on your website or, and then it'll tell you the trail? Website, and there'll be a, a zine as well available okay. to purchase, but they'll also be able to do it electronically via our website too. Okay, so walk along and read or listen to the story or is read, it, they can read, see the place? read the okay. story and and see the place and many of them are handily located to many of our fine public pub and Public cafes, in case you get thirsty. Establishments, in case you, had, you need it. Yeah, stay safe, you know, yeah. don't get dehydrated. Um, you know, so Come during in. the day. So that would be a bit of crack during the day for people to kind yeah. of get to know Sligo. And that, that would, be, like, it, families, anyone can and take along and... and mostly, yeah. They don't yeah. to the pub. <laughs> mostly, uh, yeah, okay. yeah. I suppose older, slightly older yeah, audience. Okay. Um, but we do, we do have activities for, for younger audiences too. So I suppose the, the big deal really is the music. Um, mm. You know, we start on the Friday. Um, so we have... Uh, an evening set of performances on Friday, um, again on, on Saturday, and then Sunday afternoon we finish off. But we also do, for younger audiences, we do what we call Junior Jam, which is a mix of a concert and a workshop for young people aged between about 6 and 12. Oh, brilliant. Okay. So this year we've planned a, a den building workshop. Oh, okay. Um, so wow, I very, know lots of kids love that. Yeah. So, that so it's a very fun. sensory involved um, experience for for young people, and then we'll finish off with a with a concert, and um, local artist Tara Booth Mooney, who yeah. goes by the name of the Clumsy Giantess, will be performing okay. for that. Brilliant. Yeah. So uh, there's a bit of theatre involved in all this as well, or is or is uh, it no, is it a, it's, it's, is it DJ? It's it electronic. But the, the program is very very eclectic, yeah. very varied. Um, it very much leans on the kind of alternative and left field yeah. side of things. Um, so I suppose, you know, some people might find the music a bit challenging, but, you know, it's not something you would hear on radio, for no, instance. No, no, and I kind of was get that, but so I seen a video different. from last yeah. year. It looked unbelievable in the model. It was absolutely hopping yeah. in there. There was a great yeah. DJ. A DJ, but it's not just DJ and records. It's mixing and live. Oh, it's live. So, like, Friday would be mostly guitar-based bands. It's quite heavier in style. Okay. Um, so it's sort of a bit of alt-rock, 
uh, metal, mm. um, punk. Um, Good, because it's great to have it, a mix and a bit more mixes, attitude. And, and there will be plenty of opportunities to dance. And then Saturday is, is a wide open mix, a bit of folk artists. Um, th- we have a band called Nod, or no, sorry, not Nod, but a band called uh, Mound About, who okay. um, are a duo. Uh, one is um, a member of, of Nod, Patty Shine, who is... So the two of them are coming to Sligo. They've only played a handful of performances across the country. Um, so they'll be playing. So they're if you, if you kind of like Lancome, that oh yeah, they yeah, yeah. be that would be their I, kind of frame, frame of reference. Yeah, because I mean I've had a taste of what it's like. You know what I mean? Yeah. But as I said, that's why it's great to be on to get a bit yeah. more. So I didn't really knew. Yeah. I didn't really know. Sorry that it was yeah. such a diverse mix of styles. It's real and music. diverse. So we we'll probably have two stages on mm. the Saturday night. We're still kind of finalizing the, yeah, the finer yeah, yeah. details. The finer, yeah. Um, and yeah, but there'll be there'll be DJs that night um, p- playing a, a mix of yeah. selections. So the model is the main hub. The and then, the as you said, there's hub. a few other venues around town. Is that at night over the weekend? Well, or? we've got the, the trail mainly going through town and we'll, have a, we'll have a market as well um, during the day. Oh, a market. Uh, like with records and... And, and that other. is, where is that on? Um, or sorry, is this all secret be, yet? To be confirmed. To be confirmed. But <laughs> to you'll be confirmed. follow it all on your website and social media. Yes, everything like will okay. be up on our website, social media and the model's website okay. too. And again, you're five years, yeah. I didn't realise it was five. And yeah. you, you do do kind of once-off gigs around town we, as well. Yeah, as you we see do. That so we, we have a great relationship with the model. So mm. they've, they've commissioned the main festival, but then they, they also um, invite us to do um, one-off events. So we did okay. a couple during the summer. We had a few DJs. We had the Gash Collective DJs in um, in the summer and we had a couple of bands play in another event and then just last month we did a sort of a blended event of showing some films and playing some music so we had a uh, local act um, Poor Creature okay. and then we also had um, an electronic artist from Belfast called, that goes by the name of Sonzept Sonzept yeah. okay. so, so yeah we're, we're pretty busy and we hope to be doing the same well, next well year as well great stuff Yeah. so for people to buy tickets get more mm-hmm. information it's Spilt Milk Festival the, uh, they can get all the information on the festival from spiltmilkfestival.com and then if they want to book tickets and um, they can go to themodel.ie Oh the model.ie is yep. open all the tickets okay, Yeah Great yep. Polly Dell I, I'm again as more than our previous guest there I'm so <laughs> glad to have found out more detail and great to you know let people out there know so sure. it seems like a very unique diverse kind of weekend and just so yeah. sample a bit of everything and go oh I didn't know There's it like that or I didn't people, know that act If people go if people like their music and they go to the likes of Electric Picnic mm. or all together Body and Soul, or any of those festivals, they'll find something that, that they, they like. like. That's like right in our own hometown. Yeah, right and in our a, own and hometown. Again, and it's, it's a really great vibe. People yeah. come from all over the country. Um, so Well, as I said, that video last year was like, that looks brilliant. Yeah. You know, there was, if that's the only snippet I see, it was like, that looks absolutely brilliant. So look yeah. at it. I always commend people to put on festivals in this town because it's mostly voluntary or <laughs> risking your ass on this yeah. going, oh God, what'll happen? But it's great to people like yourself uh, and your team putting all these things together. So uh, the very best to look to it, it is November... 17th to the 19th. 17th, so it's yeah. Friday to Sunday. That's it. Okay. And yeah. again, there is a, a, a the children's event as well, 6 to, so, six to 12 year olds. Yeah. And that's on yeah. the Saturday. That will be on the Sunday, actually. Sunday, yeah. so great. Well, two, look, as I said, on Sunday, yeah. people can people can go and check out spiltmilkfestival.com. That's it. That's Are you great. Down? Nice to have you and the very best to look. Thank you very much. So thanks to Adele there from Spilt Milk Festival. Go and check them out. Go and support them. Go and get a taster of some of these, as you say, eclectic kind of different styles of music and whatnot and performances. And again, I just want to say thanks to Brian and Finian here behind the cameras doing all the real work. Brian from Pixel Productions. And again, thank you to the Glasshouse Hotel for letting us use their lovely room. And as I've said already, make sure to check out their lovely revamped cafe bar or go and have a lovely cocktail in their view bar. We'll see you all again next time. Thanks very much. The Sligo Show is produced by Pixel Productions and hosted by Brendan Tierney. If you need video for your business or live event or would like to appear on the show, send us a message today. So if you liked what you just seen, don't forget to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel here. We've loads of great interviews from a load of really interesting people over the series. And if you're on social media, which I'm sure loads of you are, we are on Instagram and Facebook. So give us a follow there.